Greetings. So today is Tuesday, October 6, 2020. And this story has to do with the day of the week, which is Tuesday. So somewhere before I turned a teenager, I was still learning in school. My grandmother wanted me to learn the days of the week, how to spell each day of the week. Now, somehow I was able to learn how to spell Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. My problem day was Tuesday. So she would start off and say, spell Sunday. I will go through it. Spell Monday. I will go through it. Come to Tuesday, I had a little issue. I was stumbling. I was fumbling. I couldn't spell the word. I don't know why I couldn't get the letters in the correct order to spell Tuesday. So she skipped that. Go to Wednesday. I spelled it. Go to Thursday. I spelled it. Friday and Saturday, no problem. So then she'd go back to Tuesday. Spell Tuesday. I couldn't get it out. It just wasn't working for me. So, what she did, and you might label it child abuse now, back in the days, it wasn't child abuse, you know, back in those times. Now, you do certain things to discipline your kids or to teach them how to do things, and it's borderline child abuse, or it's actually labeled child abuse. So anyway, after pretty much, I guess, tired of me not able to spell this word Tuesday. She finally come up with a method. Now in the back of our house in Jamaica, it was very dark. There was like two trees back there and it was pitch black. Now I'm not even a teenager yet. So, you know, I still got that fear factor going on in my mind, you know, ghosts, monsters, all that stuff. I do believe those things exist during that time frame. So what my grandmother did she took me out back and tied me to the tree and turned off the backlight. And now I'm in the pitch black. Fear is running through my heart like crazy. I swear I was gonna get gobbled up by monsters or ghosts. We didn't call them ghosts in Jamaica. You know, we actually call them duppy, but they're pretty much the same thing here in America. Just a different title. And all kind of other stuff was running through my head. So. I'm like, what in the world? So I'm not thinking about spelling the word Tuesday anymore. I'm thinking about survival. Like I said, I got fear running through this heart. Blood is pumping, heart is racing. I'm trying to figure out how to untie myself from the tree and I just couldn't do it. And like I said, in these times, it will be labeled child abuse, but she was just trying to teach me a lesson. I didn't see it then. All I was thinking about, man, I gotta get out of here. I gotta figure out how to untie myself from this tree. And I'm not even thinking about spelling the word Tuesday anymore. Anyway, she would come out probably about every five minutes and ask me, spell the word Tuesday. And I would start off, it seemed like I would say T, U, and for some reason I would get stumbled before I get to the D-A-Y. So after all of that fumbling and fumbling, every five minutes she would come out. Then she will go back in, turn the lights off. She will come out, turn the light on, spell Tuesday. I can't spell it. She go back in, turn off the light, then come back out. And then for some strange reason, of being out there that long, and I don't think she would have left me out there all night long. She just wanted to leave me out there long enough for me to learn how to spell this word. Cause like I said, I'm able to spell every day of the week, except Tuesday. So I think the last time of staying out there in the dark, I stopped thinking about fear and think I gotta figure out how to spell this word because I'm gonna be out here all night and I'm probably have to sleep out here all night if I don't learn how to spell this word. So the very last time I see the lights flip back on, she stands out on the porch and she say, spell Tuesday. I said T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. And then she said, okay, you got it. She came down to the tree, untie me, I ran back inside the house like I was being chased by a monster or something. And from that day on, I never forgot to spell the word Tuesday. And while I was back there in the dark, I couldn't be back there screaming or crying or even calling for help. I had to sit there and be quiet and try to figure out how to spell this word Tuesday. So that's how I learned to spell the last day of the week that I couldn't spell, which was Tuesday.
So that's the story that I wanted to share with you today. I was driving home and I had a flashback all because I remember when I couldn't spell the word Tuesday and today is actually Tuesday. Now there was another word that she taught me how to spell and that was ability. And because I spell it so fluidly and sing it in a like a song and dance fashion, she will always have me spelling it to her guests when they come over to the house. So it doesn't matter where I was, she would call me, Richard, come here. And then when I came out to the veranda, because back, that's what it was called back in Jamaica, you know, here it's called the front porch, but it's called veranda in Jamaica. She would say, uh, spellability. And then I would just start performing my little song and dance routine of how I spell ability. And then she said, okay, get out of here, basically. So I was that one piece of entertainment. And I think she did it because she was proud that the fact that I could spell it. And I know I was real young. I don't know, maybe 10. I'm thinking around 10-ish. Maybe, yeah, somewhere around there. But I think she was just proud of me of the fact that I could spell the words just like she taught me how to spell them. And every once in a while, she would drill me again to spell the word Tuesday. And because of my flashback of being tied to that tree in the dark, I never forgot how to spell that word and I let it flow out my mouth like I was spelling my name. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna end it right there. So that's my story of how I had to learn how to spell the word Tuesday. Until the next story, have a good one and I'll see you next time.